Have you ever wondered why the United States transports thousands of monkeys to an island? It's a question that raises both eyebrows and curiosity, doesn't it? It's an enigma that triggers a whirlpool of thoughts, probing the depths of human curiosity. This remarkable narrative brings us along a path of scientific innovation, moral deliberation, and surprising twists and turns of destiny and chance. A tale that starts with the dawn of the 20th century, a period marked by the cusp of an unprecedented medical revolution. The world was poised, teetering on the edge of distinctive scientific and medical innovations that were to redefine the boundaries of what we knew. Scientists toiled tirelessly, progressing at an unprecedented rate, making groundbreaking discoveries that reshaped our understanding and perspectives of the world and life within it. In their relentless and dedicated pursuit of knowledge, they turned to creatures that were our closest kin in the vast and diverse animal kingdom, the agile and intelligent monkeys. These small yet highly evolved mammals proved to be the ideal subjects for their extensive research, primarily due to their physiological and genetic similarities to humans. Their complex brain structure, behavioral patterns, and genetic makeup closely mirrored our own, making them perfect candidates for studying human diseases and conditions. This opened a whole new realm of possibilities for researchers, unlocking secrets that lay hidden in the intricate tapestry of life. As the demand for monkeys in medical and scientific research escalated, the United States spearheaded a unique initiative. They established a comprehensive program to breed and maintain colonies of these valuable animals, ensuring a steady and uninterrupted supply for the critical research that was ongoing. The aim was to foster a controlled, regulated environment where these monkeys could thrive, reproduce, and contribute to the advancement of scientific knowledge and breakthroughs. One such colony was established in the late 1940s, located on a secluded island off the coast of the vibrant Puerto Rico. This island was known to the locals as Cayo Santiago, the geographical location and remoteness of the island provided an ideal setting for the monkey colony. It offered a controlled environment, away from the hustle and bustle of human civilization, safe from potential diseases and threats that could possibly jeopardize the well-being of the monkeys and the integrity of the research. Cayo Santiago, with its lush greenery and abundant resources, acted as a sanctuary for these primates. It was a haven where they could live freely, their actions and behaviors observed and studied, contributing to the wealth of knowledge in behavioral science, genetics, and disease research. The monkeys of Cayo Santiago played an essential part in the scientific community, their contributions immeasurable in the progress and development of medical and scientific discoveries. This intriguing story of scientific endeavor, moral debate, and the transportation of monkeys by the United States is a testament to human ingenuity, curiosity, and the relentless pursuit of knowledge. It's a tale that spans decades, involving these fascinating creatures that share so much of our genetic blueprint. The remote location provided a controlled environment for the monkeys, away from human interaction and potential diseases. Over the decades, the population on Cayo Santiago flourished. It all started as a simple experiment back in the first half of the 20th century. In those days, the island was nothing more than a barren piece of land, lost amidst the blue expanses of the Caribbean Sea. Scientists, driven by curiosity and a thirst for knowledge, decided to introduce rhesus monkeys to this untouched ecosystem, forever changing the island's destiny. By the time the sun first rose on the new millennium, the island was a world apart. It was home to more than a thousand rhesus monkeys, screeches echoing through the dense foliage that had grown to cover the island. The monkeys had become an inseparable part of Cayo Santiago, their presence unremitting and their influence on the island's ecosystem irrefutable. These animals were not just inhabitants though, they were participants in a grand scientific endeavor. They played a crucial role in numerous studies, becoming the subjects of research that spanned decades. Their contribution to advancements in neuroscience was leading to breakthroughs in our understanding of the human brain. In the field of psychology, they provided invaluable insights into animal behavior and social dynamics. Even further afield, in disciplines as diverse as ethology and epidemiology, the island's monkeys proved to be indispensable research subjects. However, the mass transportation of monkeys to the island was not without controversy. The ethics of the operation were called into question by animal rights activists and critics alike. Ethical concerns arose regarding the treatment and living conditions of the animals, 
causing a wave of outrage and discontent. Critics argued that the monkeys were being exploited, used as mere tools in a ruthless pursuit of knowledge. Their lives, they contended, were devoid of freedom and natural behavior, manipulated by the hands of men for the sake of scientific advancement. The controversy grew heated, sparking debates and discussions within the scientific community and beyond. The peaceful island that once lay silent amidst the Caribbean Sea was now the center of a global controversy. The world watched as scientists and animal rights activists clashed over the treatment of the island's monkey population. Arguments were heated and passionate, with both sides defending their positions vehemently. Despite the controversy, the practice continues to this day. Today, Cayo Santiago stands as a beacon for scientific and island transformed by the relentless pursuit of knowledge. It is not just an island anymore, it's a living laboratory teeming with life and buzzing with scientific activity. The island of Cayo Santiago remains one of the world's leading research facilities, housing thousands of monkeys in a unique semi-natural environment. The controversy has not waned, and the debates continue, but the island, with its thriving monkey population, continues to flourish, an enduring testament to the complexities of scientific progress. To summarize, the United States transports thousands of monkeys to an island for the purpose of scientific research. This practice, intriguingly unique and somewhat controversial, began in the early 20th century, a period marked by significant scientific developments and burgeoning curiosity about the natural world. At the time, the concept of using animals for scientific research was still relatively nascent, and the idea of transporting monkeys to an island for this purpose was nothing short of revolutionary. The choice of monkeys, particularly the rhesus species, was not accidental. These creatures, with their notable intelligence and close genetic resemblance to humans, were deemed perfect subjects for scientific inquiry. The species' adaptability allowed them to thrive in a variety of environments, making the island of Cayo Santiago, situated off the coast of Puerto Rico, an ideal home. The establishment of one of the largest colonies of rhesus monkeys on Cayo Santiago was a monumental feat. The remote island, its dense vegetation and isolation from human settlement, provided the perfect conditions for these monkeys to multiply and thrive. Over the years, the colony has grown extensively, with the monkey population reaching into the thousands, a testament to the success of this unconventional endeavor. The decision to move these monkeys to Cayo Santiago was not made lightly. The logistical challenges were immense, transporting thousands of monkeys across vast expanses of ocean, providing care, and ensuring their survival during the journey was a colossal task. Yet, the scientific community was determined, driven by the prospect of knowledge and discovery that these monkeys presented. Over the years, the monkeys of Cayo Santiago have been instrumental in numerous scientific advancements. Their role in the development of vaccines, behavioral studies, and genetic research has been invaluable, providing insights that have led to remarkable medical breakthroughs. Their contribution to human knowledge extends well beyond the realm of science, offering fascinating glimpses into primate behavior, social structures, and learning capabilities. However, the practice of using these animals for scientific research has not been without its controversies. Ethical debates surrounding the treatment of these monkeys have been ongoing since the inception of this project. Critics argue that despite the scientific merits, the implications on animal welfare cannot be ignored. The monkeys, despite their contribution to scientific progress, are living creatures, deserving of respect and dignity. Yet, despite these debates, the practice continues. The scientific community argues that the benefits outweigh the ethical concerns underscoring the importance this research in advancing our understanding of the world. The monkeys of Cayo Santiago continue to be a key component of scientific research, their significance etched in the annals of scientific history. In the grand scheme of things, the tale of these monkeys is a testament to the lengths humanity will go to in the pursuit of knowledge. It's a story of unyielding curiosity, groundbreaking innovation, and the complex, sometimes challenging, relationship between humans and the natural world. As we continue to navigate this relationship, one thing is certain, the monkeys of Cayo Santiago will continue to be a fascinating subject of discussion and debate.